Hey everyone, I'm back with another deck review, which is a pretty two here. And today we're looking at a new deck from Steve Minty at geekfirst.com. It is the Z deck, which is anime inspired. All right, so this is the Z deck designed by Steve Minty and put up by geekfirst.com, although it is also available on his website, stevemitty.com, along with the other deck he did for them, which was the Moon deck based on Sailor Moon. This one is based on anime, uh, anime uh, as a whole. And this one is printed by Expert Playing Cards, while the last one is printed by some unknown printer he sourced out and, you know, might be using himself. Uh, anyways, the front of the deck on this one says Z. And it's in a copper foil, some embossing on there. Nice line work and details. Inside of that, just kind of a matte top case. Just that same texture design on the sides, in the top, the bottom. It says AI Play, I Play, whatever. And steveminty.com. That's made by Manifactured by, I can't read what it says, or Manufactured by EPCC in Taiwan. And then our website is AIandPlay.com. Not familiar with them, but there's some copper foil logos on there. I don't know if you can really see that. And in the back, you see the mat design, which has some dragons. And he's eating something that's copper foil. It looks like a cookie. <laughs> I doubt it. it's a cookie, but it looks like a cookie. And that's copper foil border as well. You get this custom oversized diamond seal with a Z on it. It goes right around to the front, really, because it's so big. And then you get that same texture pattern on the flaps. Nothing on the inside. And you get to the jokers. They're colorful. This one, uh, uh, all the cards are colorful. You got this border detail, it says Joker in the corner. Some kind of a laser gun, I guess it is. And two different characters on this one. Of course, I'm going to drop it. Hang on, I'll pick it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and it, of course, there goes the box now. Good grief. Now, a professional will edit all that out, but I'm not going to because it's more fun this way. <laughs> the other Joker has this dude with an eye on his head, and it's actually mirror image from what I can tell. Unlike this one. Now, I don't know who these characters are or are supposed to be. I, I don't watch anime. I'm not familiar with them. Uh, or to just completely random. And there was also no information on who they were supposed to be. The back design that looks like that. Very nice. These cards, as I can tell, looking at them, have a Damask finish, which is a great finish from expert playing cards and legends. The Ace of Spades has a pip with a Z on it, a dragon encircling it, and it says, designed by Steve Minty. Kind of a blue and black color for the indexes and pips on the, well, blue colors for the, the pips and the indexes on the spades and the clubs. And red, kind of black for the hearts and diamonds, custom pips on the aces, and throughout, of course, with this diamond thing around it, just like the seal, I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent. And the border detail, of course. Now, that border detail, unfortunately, pushes the index way in, which is a bit of an issue, but I'm not sure how many people would actually be using this to play poker, so maybe not that big of an issue. <laughs> the court cards, very colorful and bright, all sorts of figures that I'm not familiar with. An alien guy, another alien guy it looks like. Very anime and Japanese, obviously, inspired. And then the number cards, the custom pips with that diamond in the background as well. And that is that. It's a great stock and finish by extra point cards, obviously the Damask. At least that's what I believe it is, looking at the pattern of that embossing, you can see it. It's not the traditional classic one, like say on the Sisterhood of Blood deck that I reviewed recently. It's definitely a different stock and finish. And in my opinion, a much better stock and finish. 
the same as what we've seen in some decks from JP Point Guards. Overall, I'm going to say... Nine and a half out of ten. Pretty solid deck. Well done. Nice stalking finish. Handles great. Looks pretty cool and colorful. I'm just not familiar with the figures used in it. And the borders on the faces could have been a little bit different. Outside of that, pretty awesome deck. We'll check it out. Like I said, SteveMitty.com, GeekFirst.com. Links in the description. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.